Nati, good night. How are you? Hi, Rosario. Hi. Hi. I thought nobody will be here today. Hmm. <laughs> but I'm so happy to see you girls. Nati and Rosario. Rosario, you're wearing your glasses today. You look nice. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Isn't she lovely, Nati? She looks good. Hey, you know what? Girls, we have something in common. Can you take a look right now? What do we have in common, girls? Take a really close on today's picture, today's class. We have something in common. No. I don't know, teacher. No. Nati, don't tell me that you didn't uh, check it out. What about you, Rosario? Did you notice something? Yes. Yeah. What is it? Uh, uh, imperative. No, uh, no, no. Topic. I'm not oh. talking about the topic. No, to uh, I'm to yes. talking about right now. Okay. The three of us, we have something in common. Mm -hmm. <gasps> we are our headphones. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Exactly. But they are not headphones. They are earphones because you introduce it in your ear. So they, those are called earphones. The headphones or the headsets is the one that you covered, right? The one that you use like, for example, in a call center, right? Yes. Or the one that I normally use. <laughs> Basically, those are called headsets or headphones. No. Those are called earphones because you introduce it into your ear, actually. <laughs> right. And so you see, you double check another new word for you. Yes, thank you. You didn't notice that? Or you thought it was the same? No, I, I did notice, but I, I didn't know how, how, how to, to say it. it. Oh, yeah. got it. Okay. So basically, it's the ear form because you put it in your ear. That's, that's all. Okay. And now, other one is headset or headphones because you put it over your head, right? Over your head. Mm -hmm. Right. That's the difference. Yes. So today we're using earphones and with the same color, you know. Right. <laughs> yeah, so that's amazing. Uh, something happens on my e on my eye right now. Okay, very good. Uh, I think the makeup. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that, that happens, right? Sometimes one eyelash cut off, right? That happens recently, right? Yes. Yeah. You know what? I wish I could have a large eyelashes, but no. I think it's all. Uh, is it still there? Uh, oh my god no and you know what i don't want to take it off because i will lose my makeup <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh -huh, exactly it's better fashion right and fashion yes you know what that is another expression it, she's it's better fashion than and fashion right because it's like in spanish like like antes more talking sencilla Mm. <laughs> so that's another expression yeah oh no way my makeup oh no 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 i think it's already there disappear yeah i think so at least better move okay yeah cool much better because it, 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 it is that little tiny thing but it's it, it's like a little bit annoying sometimes right yeah, it's really annoying right like you're uh it's not you know what my mother uh, taught me how to like get rid of it for example, if you have a, like a glass of water and you put your glass of water here and then you start yeah. moving your eye, that helps a lot. But right now, mm -mm, I will lose my makeup in no way. <laughs> <laughs> That's not possible. <laughs> so tell me, how are you guys doing today? Was it good? Yes, teacher. A normal day as always? Yes, a normal day. A very calm day. Oh, that's awesome. And by any chance that the assistant didn't went off? No, not today. Ah, no. well, I know. Everything is, is, is right. Ah, well. Yes. Never mind. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Thank you. Uh, what time did you arrive home? Right now or no? No, I, I came back at uh, 6.30. Oh, really early? Like an hour yeah. and a half ago? Mm -hmm. yeah that give that gave me time to to have dinner ah, yes have exactly ah oh, lucky you <laughs> in my case no <laughs> yeah I, yeah i think but i already have like a cup of coffee well i still have it here mm -hmm. um like a, 
uh, two sweet breads, I think, and one, um, I don't know, one regular bread with a, hi, with a cottage inside. You know what cottage is? Yeah. Cottage. Uh, yes. Actually, it's like the way that we call regazon here. A cottage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Actually, that is a French word, cottage. Mm -hmm. But they use it in English. I don't know why. Well, most of the time, you know, we have a lot of um, words that they are from different countries or different origin but we use it here in El Salvador. And also there's the same thing in all over the places, in all over the countries. For example, there is a, uh, when you go to the doctor, or psychiatrist or psychologist, whatever, and there is a sofa, right? When you lay down and I start telling your story, right? Mm -hmm, right. Yeah. So yeah, that that sofa, well, sofa is a, is a word, is Arabic word, but um, that it calls canapé. In canapé, is a French world. Mm -hmm. So you see, there's a lot of things. And, and also we use that in English and also in Spanish. And so far, as well, we use it in Spanish. And that is an Arabic word. So you see, it's really, it's really interesting. You know, the language is really interesting in Bayari, but that makes the yeah. language complicate a lot. Especially yes. when a foreigner or somebody that is not from Latin America, they're trying to learn Spanish, oof, that is a pain. Especially yeah, because uh, even though we speak Spanish, but we have a variety, right? Mm -hmm. In all the Latin American people. Even here in El Salvador, we do have a variety of things. I remember that one time I learned the, the word paila in huacal, right? And uh, for me, I learned it like the huacal is the thing or, or the container that you use to take out a water from the pila, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Yes. But when I went to San Miguel, I figured it out that they call it that way, the little cup that you use to drink your coffee. So I was like, huh? for me, huacal is something that you need, use to take out water from the pila. And for me, paila is a little... Could be like plastic or I don't know, a dish that you use to, to put something, a bread or whatever, right? Fruit. But so, oh my goodness, they complicate my life. So like what? Oh my God. So they call <laughs> in San, San Miguel a different way. And, it, and we are in the same Salvador. So like, yes, oh my right. God. Yes. I lived in San Miguel like five years, teacher. Yeah, really? Yes. Wow. But they they use a lot of different words. Word yeah, and even they eat the pupusas in a different way. Like what? Yeah. <laughs> no, I prefer the standard way. <laughs> but but you have ever tried the pupusas with with mayonnaise? Yeah, and I don't like it. Ah, uh, you didn't like it? No, I didn't like it. I try it because I, I, I'm a person that I will never say something that I do not like it if I have never tried it. Right, <laughs> so I try it. But to be honest with you, I didn't like it. Well, I, it, it is good. I'm not going to say that it's, no, it is good. But between the two um, cabbages, I prefer the standard one. Mm, okay. You know what happened? Because of uh, uh, my tummy, my tummy is really delicate. Mm -hmm. So uh, with a uh, madness, it's like even worse because it's mm -hmm. a lot of grease. Mm -hmm. Yes. So right. even though it's a little bit delicious and it's, it tastes really good, it tastes good with uh, with pupusas, but um, my tummy it didn't uh, go well after that. So I prefer not not to do it. Okay. Because of my health problems. Okay. Because of that, I when I was younger I didn't have any health problems, but now that I'm getting like a little bit older, <laughs> they're coming <laughs> all of them. Right, Selvin. Right, Rosario. That's true. Bye. Yeah. Every, yeah. every decade is totally different, especially like a woman, right? A woman has a different kind of changes. If you're 20, it's not the same as you're 30, it's not the same as like 40, and not, not even the same as you're 50. Because, uh, yeah, women, we change a lot in a different way. So you can ask Rosario, uh, and also Selvin, right? That he's already married, <laughs> you can know that, you know, that's as well. Okay. Yeah, because you are 30, right? Not yes, you? I'm just 30. Yes. I just recently. Ooh, I remember when I was 30. <laughs> <laughs> that was, well, I'm, I'm still in the 30s, you know? I'm still in the 30s. 
you are very young teacher and i know no 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 no. i'm getting closer to the 40s but no yet <laughs> i'm closer not no exactly no selby no yet my husband said i was worried <laughs> excuse me but no no yet because he is closest to the 50s <laughs> 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 yeah, I think he's gonna be 49 this year. Mm. Yes, so the 40 almost. is the new 20. What? The 40 is the new 20. <laughs> are you sure? Are you serious? Is that what you said? Yes, That's what you think? Yes. Okay, what do you think course. about that? <laughs> the 40 is the new, the new 20s, you said. Okay, so I'm going yes. to be 20. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> But you got away more than one year, okay? <laughs> yes, it's so desperate. What can we do, right? We need to accept the age, and what can we do? Yes, that's cool. But you know what? Even though you're getting older, but I don't know about you guys, but in my case, I do not feel older. I don't feel it. Neither, teacher. No. <laughs> Maybe you know what? The 20 girls, they will say to you, Mrs., and you're like, <gasps> yeah. The first time that they call me, Mrs. when I went to the bank or the supermarket, like, oh, they hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Mrs. anymore, right? Uh, but then I accepted. Yeah. I, I move on. But to be honest with you, I do not feel older. I don't feel it. I know that yeah. I'm getting older, right? Because my body will feel it, right? And it changes. But uh, mm -mm, I don't feel it. They I don't only feel exactly the same girl. The only change that I have seen is uh, that I have gray hair. And really? I didn't have it. Yes. To be honest. Recently, huh? I have a lot of gray hair. Gray hair, right? Yeah, gray hair. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Do, you know what? I, I put some, uh, I color my, my, my hair, right? <laughs> but to be honest with you, in my natural hair, I do not have a gray hair. Mm. I don't. Oh. I don't. No, 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 and uh, yeah. So uh, let me double check. I don't know because I love this color, but uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. Um, especially when I iron it, I like it because it takes good with my skin and my eyes. Right now, you cannot see it, but I have a different color eyes. My colors. Yeah. What color are your eyes, teacher? They are maroon. They are between honey and um, and green. Mm, very beautiful. Well, that's why they said. That's what my husband said. <laughs> <laughs> I think, but I think Miss uh, Chloe Marie, the little cat, she has mm -hmm. a beautiful eyes. Mm -hmm. But the beautiful one that they have, I think, is uh, Malefica, right, Selby? Yes. I Malefica love have green yeah. eyes. Yeah, it's the contrast between the black color of her skin and her eyes. And oh my I, goodness! She's and beautiful. I have a a, a, a little cat. Uh, is cremita. Oh, okay. He's white. He's white, and her eyes is blue. Her eyes are blue. Yes. Wow. Oh, and is a boy or is a girl? Uh, I don't. I don't know <laughs> because uh, it's. Oh, is when, it is a baby one? When uh, yes, when oh, when oh. I they are a kitty. Uh -huh. and you check the the back in the back, uh huh, and nothing comes up. No, no, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's rare. So you better wait until two or three months, I think, and Sorry? you will be able between two and three months you will be able to see it. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, th that is a good a good uh, name that you have chosen because cremita will be uh, if it's a girl. But if it's a boy, cremito, uh, right? My, my, no, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, the name is for my 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 girl, my my little girl. My little girl, girl. Uh -huh. Or yes. you can put uh, a copito. My, my <laughs> she uh, put the name. Uh, he named it. Okay. Yes. Oh, uh, that's wonderful. Any animal. Oh, okay. Maybe we are uh, Sunday. We can meet Copito, no Copito, Cremita, right? Cremita uh, in the brothers or sisters. Uh, its name, uh, Quesito. Oh my goodness, that's amazing! Yes. Cremita and, and Quesito. Uh, All righty. 
Besito is uh, what a beautiful name. Similar to the tiger. Ah, really? So yes. how many cats do you have, Solvin? No, I have only three. Uh, ah, because, only three. Ooh. Only three. Yes. Okay. Uh, two, uh, the little cats. I think uh, that I give uh, any family. Oh, okay. <laughs> like as an option. Yes. Okay, you have Rosario. You have Nati. Yeah, it's free. <laughs> it's free. It's free. I know they're they're really lovely. You know what? I did. I had never had a cat in my life. I always prefer dogs and a lot of kind of animals. But this is the first time that I had Marie, because basically I adopted her from the street. Um, okay. Well, well, not he was not exactly on the street. Uh, I passed through a neighbor, and the neighbor had a cat. But usually, the cat had four kitties, but three have passed away and only one, mm -hmm. Chloe, yeah. was there. But uh, they were leaving and they were sleeping outside, outdoors. Uh -huh. So no way. I said, no way. That's not possible. That's a little kitty. If I leave her here, she's going to oh. pass away as well. So I convinced my husband <laughs> that I will, <laughs> I will give, uh, stay with her um, while I was looking for a, uh, somebody who can adopt her. But then uh, I don't know. She she broke my heart. Mm. Yeah, she did a lot of crazy stuff, and basically now she's part of the family. And do you I have any picture or I only that? No, I do. Uh, I have whiskey. That is the oldest one. He's uh, eight years old. He's a terrier with a schnauzer, mm. and I have Chestnut, which is whiskey's son, mm. and and he's a Bichon Maltese, but he's taller he's taller than his dad because the schnauzers are small right yeah uh, uh, yes oh who is him it's it's Quesito. Quesito. <laughs> oh my god he looks like garfield oh oh he's beautiful <laughs> he's man he's man or, or woman <laughs> i cannot see it you have to turn it and open the tail <laughs> but i think he's a man you know yeah I think this is a man, yeah. Wait, oh wait a minute. Okay, okay. Then we gotta wait for Cremita. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Cresito and Cremita. I had never thought about that. Quesito. Oh, maybe provolone, right? Because of the color. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Isn't she lovely? I like her. Oh. Yeah, I think there's a girl. No, the that's girl. a boy. That's a boy. Oh, okay. That's a boy. <laughs> oh, so you see, cremito. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they are really lovely. You know what? Pets really um, help us a lot, right? Right. Oh, that's a little baby. You see? <laughs> yeah, I love pets. And uh, this is the little girl, uh, the uh, owner uh, of Quesito and Cremita, right? The one who <laughs> named oh, yeah. it. Hi. Hey, how you doing, baby girl? <laughs> how are you? Hi, how are you? Pretty good. Thank you so much for asking. How about you? How are you? Daddy. Great. With daddy? <laughs> Yay. Okay, I don't have you, but I will give you a flower. Okay? <laughs> okay. It's a flower you. for you. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Bye. 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 Bye bye. <laughs> I love kids. Those are amazing. Amazing. I used to be. He's um, a third cat. Yeah, I read the third, the fourth, the third cat, the fourth cat. <laughs> He's on me, right? <laughs> okay, guys. Without okay, this was our introductions for today's topic. <laughs> it's really so much fun, right? Yeah, but you see, we have to relax a little bit, right? Warm up a little bit, so you can be ready. There you go. I'm really thank you guys for being um, also in today's class. It's amazing. Okay. Nori was supposed to be here, but I don't know what happened to her. But we have Nati Rosario and Sabin, which is really good. Uh, we're waiting for uh, Rachel, right? Rachel is supposed to be here and Sumita. I don't know what happened to them. Maybe they can, they will enjoy this later on. That would be awesome. Okay. So guys, do you remember that we saw yesterday uh, introduction, right? A dialogue that we practice. 
Sorry, Selvin, but you practice a lot, right? <laughs> and I know that you do not forget it, which is uh, basically what was the topic for yesterday, uh, Rosario? Imperative. Imperatives and? Infinitives. Infinitives. And you know, look, listen to her. She's like, imperatives. And infinitives. <laughs> like, she's so happy with the topic. I know that for sure. <laughs> yeah. I know that yesterday you were like, Yes, because that it was an introduction, okay? Don't worry. I told you that today we're going to get into deeply to that. So if maybe yesterday you were like, I don't know, with so many question marks, right? Like, wow, I, I quite understood that, but I wanted to understand it much better. So that's what we're going to do today, okay? And you know that it would be really easy. Well, you have used the imperatives and uh, infinitives all the time as a mother, as a father, as a boss, as a co-worker, yeah, you use it all the time. And for example, if you have gone to the doctor, always you have heard about that, okay? And why do we, we're going to learn about that, guys? Because we can use the imperatives, only imperatives, for example, to give commands. But if you use only imperative, uh, it looks like more than an order, right? For example, hey, watch your hands. Okay, mom, right? It looks like more like, like if you're impulsive something, right? But guys, if you would like, for example, to make suggestions, that's why we use imperatives with infinitives together. Why? Because it doesn't sound like an order. It sounds more like suggestion and more polite to say it. That's why we combine it. We can do it separately, but it will sound really weird. Or like if you are uh, want somebody to do something and you have to do it because I say it. No, that's not possible. No, you have to use the two of them in a combination to transform what you're saying into a suggestion and a suggestion into a polite way. So you will see guys that what we're going to learn today, it will help you a lot no matter where you go and no matter which, which person you're going to talk to or you spend your time to uh, at home, at work, on vacation, with your family, etc., You will be able to use it anytime, everywhere. But we got to learn how we need to use it, right? Or how can we construct it? That's what we're going to learn today. So without <clears throat> giving you more information, let's get into deeply. Okay, let the blood start, let the party start, yay. You see, and Nati is like, just pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to touch us. Okay, don't worry. Okay, let me share right now my screen. <laughs> okay. And tell me as soon as you're able to see it, hopefully guys, you can see it, all of it. Okay, can you see it now? Yes or no? A little blurry, teacher. Mm, a little blurry. I think I need to put in a bigger, okay? Let me know if you're able to see it much better. Is it much better now, guys? Yes. Okay, okay. cool. Okay, so as Rosario said, we are going to talk about imperatives and infinitives to give suggestions. All right, guys. Uh, well, I have put it a little thing here and I highlighted it in, uh, we can set black color, you see? Be sure to, don't oh, forget to. Let it in bold. Yes, make sure, remember to, re try to. Guys, all the, all the black ones, especially these ones, this one, are in imperative. Why? Because, do me a favor. What is that? Be sure. Is it a subject, an adjective, an adverb, or a verb? What is that? What is that word, guys? Be sure. What is it? What kind of word it is? Is it a verb? No. Adjective. Are you sure? An adjective? No, Be sure. Be sure. 
B of the bird to be. Be sure. A bird. As a verb, exactly. Uh, in, in a positive way, right? Now we have the second one. Don't forget. Is it a verb? Yes or no? Forget is a verb. Uh -huh. yes. And don't? Yes. It's a don't. verb too, right? It's, it's a verb in a negative form. Exactly, in a negative way. The negative of do. Mm -hmm. Make sure. Is it a verb? Yes. 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 It's like, a verb. Okay. Sure. As well. In this case, remember and try not to. Are those verbs yes or not? Yes. yes. Okay, cool. This is what I want you, that's what I highlighted, guys. Because in the imperatives, we do not have, guys, a subject. A subject is never used, okay? A subject is never used. We just start with the verb. Be sure, don't forget, make sure, etc. But if you check out on that, guys, after the imperative, we have something else. We have this part. To turn on. To dial. To hit. To play here. And to talk, right? Okay. Which are these guys? The one that I circle in red color. Which are these? Uh-huh. Verbs. Ah, they are verbs, exactly. These are imperative, right? The one in orange color. But the ones in green color, to turn, to dial, to hit, to play, and to talk. What are these? Are they okay. continuing imperatives? No. No, no. They, they are? Mm. They are? Infinitive. Infinitives, very good, yeah. Remember, guys, that infinitive, we construct two plus a verb, right? In the base mm -hmm. form, that is equals to infinitives, okay? So if okay. you see, guys, here we are using two together. We're using both the imperative and the infinitive after the imperative, right? Be sure to turn. Don't forget to dial. Make sure to hit. Remember to pay. Try not to. Why, guys? Because when we use the two of them as a combination, in that way, in that way, let me check it out really quickly. Here you go. Yes. Okay. In that way, guys, we are giving suggestions. Okay. But suggestions in oh, what please. form? Well, we're giving suggestions in a polite way guys okay it doesn't sound too rude it sounds more like a suggestion for example if i for example selvin let's pretend that we are almost um 30 a uh, january 30 right most of the time by the end of the month we had to pay uh the light right the water, the cell phone, right? Etc. Mm -hmm. right? Okay, so your, your wife could tell you two things. She can say to you, Salvi. Yes. Pay the bills. And you're like, okay. <laughs> All right. Hey, why are you treating me like that way? Uh -huh. <laughs> Wait, she can say pay, pay the bills. But girls, if 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 Selvin's wife is an hypothetic right? Way, if Selvin's wife said pay the bills, does it sound rude? It sounds like it, like an order, like hmm, you are the man and not the mm. woman, but I handle this house, huh? No, uh, <laughs> uh -huh. You you it's understand <laughs> you understand the message, right? That you have to pay the bills. But she said, pay the bills, okay. It looks like more than an order, an order, okay? Now, if I use the imperative with the infinitive, I would, I can say exactly the same thing, but double check how it sounds, okay? Be sure to 
Now read it. She can say, Selby, be sure to pay the bills. You see, I'm saying yes. exactly the same. But in the first way, it sounds rude, like if she's imposing in something, she doesn't respect you, right? But in the second way, be sure to pay the bills. It doesn't sound like giving an order. It sounds more like giving a suggestion. You see? You see what is the difference? Yes. So, and it's more polite. Hmm? Mm -hmm. So you see? It's really be sure to pay the bills. So be sure is one imperative that we can use with infinitive. You see, we have together, be sure to pay. Be sure to pay. Mm -hmm. You can put another one, be sure to, uh, to okay, maybe you're sleepy, right? Oh, you have to go to bed. And then you said to your kids, oh, I'm sorry, kids, you can continue watching TV and go to bed, but be, don't forget to turn off the TV, okay? You see? Turn off. To turn off the TV. Don't forget, okay? You see how we use it? Okay, I will try, I will continue showing you right now uh, my screen, but uh, let me continue showing this so you can have a better idea. Oops. And I will put it bigger, okay? Also for you to continue watching it because it's much better in a bigger way, right guys? You can see it much better. Right. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, so let me put it here. Do, 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 do. There you go. Da, 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 da. I always have to start like that. There you go. Okay. And what other words we can use besides be sure, don't forget, and make sure? Are ah. there other words? Yes, they are. They are. They are other words. Yeah, I will I will I will share with you in a moment, okay? I will share with you. But they are. As, as long as you're able to use it with the imperative, that's that's better. Okay, but I will share it to you. Just bear with me, okay? I will give it to you that information later on today. Oh, okay, guys. So this is like um like a brief explanation of what I already said. Remember that with imperatives, we do not use subject, right? We just put the the bear and the complement. Make your bed, mop your floor. Okay, and guys, the imperatives, most of the time we use it to give instructions or commands and demands as well. That is the way that we use it, most of the time. I just want you to just click and clarify that. So let's continue. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, let's do an example, okay? Let's do an example here, and this is the example. Let's pretend that this is, these are two guys, a girl and a boy, okay? And we can mix it, let's practice, right? Okay, let's practice this. These two guys, they said that they don't understand English. We don't understand English, okay? So what suggestion you can give? You see guys, we have two possible suggestions here. You can say, study your births. It's like, they are rude, right? That is without, that is only guys, imperative you see only the imperative but if i want to combine or mix imperatives with infinitives this is going to be how it is make sure to study make your verse sure. you see that is totally different in the first one you sound rude and maybe you can make them feel offended or bad right even though you're saying something true however if you use the second one, make sure to study your verbs. Does it sound more like a suggestion or an instruction, guys? An instruction. Instruction. And it's polite, right? It's not rude. Yes, it's, it's uh -huh. polite. So you see, you can when we use that, uh, that is the purpose of infinitives with imperatives together. That is saying exactly the same thing, but in a better way. Okay, that's why I taught you that today. Okay, so you see, with imperative and infinitive, it will give us great suggestions. So that's why it's really important. So, okay. Oh, you see, there's this is another one, um, Nati. We have to, another one that I wanna show you. We have, be sure, right? We already practiced that, make sure, don't forget. Also, you can set remember, right? and also try, okay? 
-hmm. And there's more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But these ones are another one that you can use. I, will, I have been putting you the one that we normally use, the most common ones. But I, I have another one, so I will send it to you, okay? For you to have more vocabulary that you can use. But if you can see, guys, I put in red color the imperative. The imperative. You see? And I put, guys, in a yellow color, the infinitive. Okay. Uh, I want you guys to take a look at uh, this one in particular. This one. This one. The one that is negative. Because if you can see, guys, uh, we have all of them, we have it in a positive way, right? Most of them. We have be sure, make sure, remember, and try. But this one, don't forget, is different. Why? Because, guys, also we can give suggestions in a negative way, but the meaning will be positive. Don't you think? If I said, don't forget to think in English, am I saying something negative or am I saying something positive? What do you think, guys? You're saying something positive. I'm saying something positive, right? Because even though that construction of the sentence is negative, because I said, don't forget, but my suggestion is positive. It's not negative. All right? So let me tell you. Okay. We have a, the auxiliary. No, in this case, the imperative, do. Mm -hmm. And also, we have the infinitive, to a study. But if we want to convert in a negative sentence, even though I'm giving a positive sentence, that particularly, the particular not N O T or the contraction and apostrophe T, guys, always will be in the middle, in the middle between the imperative and the infinitive. I cannot say do or, or not do to a study. No. I have to say, do not forget to study. Okay? It has to be between the two, between uh, the imperative and the infinitive, the particularly not. Okay? So I said, don't, don't forget. Don't forget to study. Don't forget to study. Are you with me? Do you cut? Do you get it? No. Yep. Yeah. If you're going to use it in negative, it has to be between. Okay. So also, you have to know how to put it, or where to put it. Okay. So let's practice. Let's practice this because it's really important. Uh, 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 um. Okay. Let me check something really quickly. Just allow me one moment. Hmm. Okay, I will send it to you some writing activity so we can practice this one a little bit. So just allow me one moment. Let me double check really quickly. Okay, there you go. I have it here. Hmm. Okay, uh -huh. <laughs> guys, uh, let me let you know something before I share this with you. Hey, uh, have you ever uh, listened or participate? I don't know, right? In the in a radio uh, conversation. No? Once. Yeah, once. Only, only, only once, all right. I only uh, in call when when I call in by phone. Okay. To the radio. Oh yeah. So you see there mm -hmm. there are some um programs, right? That they're related to a specific topic, like for example, let's talk about pets or let's talk about uh dates, etc. Right. Hey, let's listen to everybody's opinion, la, 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 right? Okay, so you know what? <laughs> We're going to play yeah. something like that way today. <laughs> you will have so much fun. Okay, so, and I know, Selvin, that 
uh, you are the only man here, so may I apologize, but I think you're going to be the DJ today. <laughs> Okay. 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 <laughs> All righty. So basically, it will be uh, English Corporative Radio. Okay. And you can, if you want, you can put a music in the background. That's okay. And we can like, -na 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 -na. hey, this is Zobby. Welcome to the day. Glass Corporative one, two, one, two, one. <laughs> like that, right? You know. Okay. So I'm going to share right now with you through the WhatsApp. <laughs> the information that we're going to use today. And guys, we're gonna put in practice imperatives with infinitives to give a great suggestions. You will love it. Oh yeah, I love it. Very good, very good. But but try to choose uh, one that has more energy. Uh -uh. Oh, well, baby, yes, that would be awesome. That would be nice. Okay, so allow me just one moment. I will send it to you right away. And just let me know, guys, as soon as you're able to receive it. Okay, just bear with me. <laughs> going to be so much fun. All right. Well, well, well. Okay. Okay, I will send it to you and just let me know as soon as you're able to receive it, please. <laughs> you will love it. Yes, every day. Every day. <laughs> It's imperative for. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I already sent it to you. Actually, yes. yeah, you have it. Okay, cool. So, basically, guys, I sent it to you. The radio thing. We have four different scenarios, right? So, Mr. Solvent is the one in the middle. In class, comparative and ninety-eight point one. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let me wait, wait. You have it on the WhatsApp? Uh, yes. It's, would you, or would you like me guys to, to send it to you again? Slowly. Okay, cool. Okay, this is for you to have it right now, but I will send it to you guys. Uh, the first scenario that I wanted to practice, okay? <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. Do you receive it, Selvin, or no yet? No, not yet. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yep. Okay. Yes, my I, family and our. There you go. Okay. This one. Yes. The, don't worry. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, I sent it. I basically I sent it the two of them that we're going to practice today because if you can see, we have four different as and areas, right? Four different as and areas. Okay. But the one that I sent it to you that we're going to practice today basically will be the two last pictures that I sent it to you, the two uh, as and areas. Okay, the first one, the color one, I want you guys to read it to get familiar, so what is exactly the problem, right? So Selvin has an idea and you cannot start thinking about a solution, Mr. Selvin, or a suggestion, right? Hey, Nadi, can you please be so kind to read for me? What's the problem in color one? The second picture that I sent. Okay. Color one. Yes, when they said my family and I, that one. It said my family and I are going away. Mm-hmm. My family and I are going away on vacation. How can we make sure our home is safe from burglars while we're gone? Okay, very good. Tell me something. Do you understand the, the problem, the situation? Mm, a little bit. I don't know what is the meaning of burglar. Burglar. Burglars, a thief. The one that loves to take out uh, their, their things, that they are not theirs. Ladrones? Burglars? 
¿ya? Mm, okay. Bandoleros, Bulgar. right? Ya, yeah, Bulgars, ya. Yeah. Ok. So, what is exactly your, your, your situation, Nati? That you're going out with your family, right? You're going on vacation. But you are okay. worried about how to make your house safe while you are not there with your family, okay? That is your situation, that is your problem. So think about it, okay, Mr. Salvi? And then, uh, Rosario, yes, don't worry, don't worry. We have not started yet. <laughs> I want you guys to be clear about your situation mm -hmm. so then we can start giving suggestions. Uh, now, Rosario, can you please read for me what it says, color number four? The second picture, the third picture that I sent, please. Okay. Color four. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. <coughs> I I am really in into social networking, but in the post week, five people I hardly know have asked asked me to be their friend. Very good. Okay, Rosario. So, what do you did you understand about the situation? What is your situation, or what is your problem? Hard, uh, hardly know how to ask. Uh -huh. Hardly know. Exactly. For example, maybe Rosario, you have Facebook, right? You have uh, Instagram. I don't know. So you are really yes. into social media. But, and most of the time in, in, in those social media guys, we have people that we know, right? Our friends, for example, our co-workers, our family. But Rosario, the situation in this case is that you receive an invitation from somebody or for five people that you don't know. That's what he said, five people I hardly know I have hardly asked know. me to be their friends. So like the okay. question is, am I saying yes? Am I accepting them or no? That is your, your situation, okay? That is your problem. You don't know what to do, okay? So in this case, so this is your situation and Nati, is the situation that how can she has uh, her house safe while she and her family are on vacation, okay? So, okay. okay, I want you guys to understand the situation because I don't want you to say it in the way that is written, okay? I want you to say it in your own words. That's why, like if you're calling the radio, and you know what, Mr. Selvin, which is the, the DJ today, right, you know, <laughs> Eric is going to uh, answer your calls and will give you a suggestion. But you know what, you have to get into the character. You said, you can say, Natty, hi, hey, what's your name? Hey, my name is Natty. Hey, how you doing, Natty? Pretty good, yeah. Hey, tell me, what's your problem? Oh, Selvin, I'm calling you because I have a really terrible situation and I don't know what to do. You see, like that, right, you, you see? Like if you're like, uh, worry, <laughs> okay? So are you guys ready? <laughs> yeah, Mr. DJ, are you ready? Hey, Mr. DJ, I'll pump the rhythm. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> you can start put with a, the one yeah. case. <laughs> no, you will start because you are the, you are on the radio, okay? So you have ding, 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 right? Mm. Okay. okay. Welcome to the 98.1. Yeah, you did like that, right? Pretend that I'm not here. You know what I'm going to do? Yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to disappear, but I'm going to be here, okay? Just for you to okay. feel more comfortable. <laughs> so, okay, I'm not there anymore. Okay, Salvi, so... Uh, 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 Using imperative and infinitive to give a great suggestion. Radio as scenario. Action, go ahead, sir. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Uh, this is the radio. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is the radio English Corporativo. With... Hi, Hi. Selvin. Hi, how are Hi. you? Hi. Uh... I'm fine, and you? Fine, fine. How, yes, can, I'm how calling... can I help you? Yes, thank you. I'm calling you because I have a big problem, 
uh, my family and I are going to out in, in our vacations for the first time and we don't know how to make sure the house is going to be safe from the bulgars, you know? Uh, what, can, what can you suggest me, please? Uh, do you have a dog? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, don't forget, pay the home insurance. Uh, be sure that they close the windows and doors too. Okay. Thank you very much, Sylvie. Okay. Do you need to uh, hear the new music? Yes. Uh, can you put me a sound, please? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can. Okay. Thank you. A cumbia or bass. A <laughs> bye, bye. A Have a nice day. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Okay, Rosario. Now you can hear. Hey, Selvin, you got to say. What? Hey. Hey, we, we uh, it looks like we have it an incoming call. Okay, let's answer and then you ask, oh, okay? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Oh. Okay, <laughs> you have to continue oh, because oh. it's a live radio, right? I think you have an incoming a call, Selvin. You better answer. Okay, okay. Do, 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 do. I hear incoming the call. Hi. Hi. Hi, Selby. How are you? What's your name? Hi. Uh, my name is Rosario. I'm fine. I'm very good. Very good. And you? Fine, fine. How, how can I help you, Rosario? Yes. Uh, I can hear um, uh, the radio in English corporativo. Uh, yes. I can I can hear very well. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I can, how can I help you? You need a music? Yes, I hear music. I like the uh, English mu music. Uh, what group? What's group? Oh. Or, or singer? <laughs> I am uh, singer. Yes. Who? My a girl, a boy. Singer. No, no. My favorite. Rihanna. My favorite singer. Singer is a group. Um, Manhattan group. Manhattan group. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you help me here? I don't hear very well. Don't hear Manhattan group. Kiss and say goodbye. Yes, I say <laughs> yes. I like it. Okay, <laughs> that's good music. Oh, <laughs> that's light too. Yes, I like. What okay. Is your problem, Rosario. Do you have any problem? Uh, my problem is I I don't hear very well the radio English corporativo. You can, you, me. can you help me? Can you help me? Now? Oh. Rosario. Hi. My problem. <laughs> I per per excuse me. Second. I don't want to learn, learn into him. No. Okay. Well, uh, please uh, be sure that your friend is is a good person or bad person. A good person. It's a good person, and he have a uh, money. If if your MP MP3 MP3 <laughs> uh, is uh, broken, 
It's a broken. Mm. No. No, they. Hi, Rosario. Hi. Hi. Are you Sabine. here? Yes. I hear. Yes, I yes. Hear. What's your problem? Uh, my problem is. Uh, Uh, it's about be... social network. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. My problem is a uh, social network, but in the in the post week, five people I I hardly know. I don't I don't see. Um, no here. Ask me. To be their friend, their friend. Okay, okay. Be sure that the the five people are your friends. But the five people. Yes or not? No. 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 But I don't accept the 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 in my in my. Social network uh, people that aren't my friend. Ah, okay. And really... if you want to know a new people, um, you say yes and <laughs> and go. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, be sure. Okay, be 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 carefully and don't forget pay the bills of internet <laughs> okay. very uh, good good uh, try uh, it is hard right guys it's not easy right no not no easy. it's not easy no. yeah especially uh, because you're nervous like okay yeah i know but don't worry those are uh like um exercises that we do to i know that you understand that you so imperative and suggestion, but sometimes the, the nerve was right, like, oh, what am I gonna say? But that's okay, yeah. very good. Good try. Do you like it? Thank you. Yeah? Thank you. <laughs> Thank yes, you. Like, I like. yes. <laughs> okay, so maybe <laughs> tomorrow. Is difficult. Yeah, I know it's difficult. Well. Don't worry, don't worry. Yes, that's cool. It's, mm -hmm. it's part of the process, okay? That's cool. But you did an excellent effort. Very good, congratulations. Tomorrow we're going to practice the same okay. Uh, again, okay? But then I'm going to okay. pick somebody else. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay, but do you understand now imperatives uh, with infinitives to give great suggestions? Is it clear, the topic? Yes. Sure. Yeah? Yes. Okay, that's wonderful. Yes. Okay, guys, I had to say bye-bye. Sure. Yes, uh, Selvin. And tomorrow, we can, we can, uh, we can, or can we repeat this, this conversation? Of course we will. Tomorrow. Yes, of course. Okay. Can we, can we repeat this same okay. conversation? Can we? You're, you're asking me something. Yes, yes. I yeah. Can. No, because if you said Tomorrow. we can, it's like if you're assuming. We can. Okay. But can we, we can. if you're asking? Yes. Uh-huh. Very good. Very good. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, cool. Yes, of course, Alvin. If you wanted to, that will be awesome, okay? And study okay. because tomorrow we're okay. going to have so much fun and recap everything that we have seen so far, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. Hugs okay. and kisses. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.